Hey you guys, hey Moo Moo's, welcome back to the channel, Watch with Sandy, it is Sandy here. Hwasa came out with a song. The channel is called Kinda Blue, so I don't really know, this is, I guess is not with RBW. The song is called I Can't Make You Love Me. A few of you guys drop by the channel and asked me to do a reaction because our Hwasa needs more marketing. Whatever, whoever is not doing the marketing for her, I can do it, we can do it together, right Moo Moo? So let's go ahead and start the reaction, let's go. And unfortunately, on one, the K, there's no subtitle but it's all good. Ooh, this analog sound. Kind of blue and plaster. I can make you love me. Ooh. There's an acoustic guitar at the same time. Interesting. Okay, so now I get it. I sorry, I was all confused in the beginning. This guy's called his name is kinda blue. Gotcha. He has this tremble vibrato, very similar to Hossa. The way he ends his lines and it airs out exactly like Hossa. Her voice. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Did you hear how she was singing the whole line with the last two words? They changed like the distortion, the 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 filter of the vocal or something. I can't, I don't have the right terminology, dude. But it changed it, and it I don't know. It was so effective. Hold on. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Go back a little bit more. Cause I want. It's the part when she says "love me." Big room. It's like a big room. I'm teary-eyed, dude. I'm teary-eyed. Just with the title of the song, I Can't Make You Love Me. It's that song, right? Well, it just has a way of delivering very sad and solemn notes and messages with the way she sings. And like I said, I was talking through, I should have paused to say this, but let me say it here. This guy, I don't know who he is. I, his name is kind of blue. He just, he kind of has like the male equivalent to Hwasa's characteristics, like vocal characteristics, the airiness, the low, slow vibratos that add emotion and like how he ends the lines of his songs is the same kind of impact that Hwasa has when she ends music or ends the line in, in like a, a sentence or something. The, there was like a slow like R&B beat to it but there was like that slight acoustic guitar in the back that takes it from fully R&B to kind of maybe like soft rock ballady. I don't know. It was I, I'm i blown away by it. Thank you for coming by Moo Moo's and telling me about Hwasa's song. She deserves our marketing. We can do it for her. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my handles and I will see you on the next Mambu reaction. Okay, bye.